Well, thank you all for your concerning messages this morning about how knackered and bedraggled I look. And you were absolutely right on both counts. And the problem is, with no water in the pipes, I can't do anything about this, but never you mind about that. Well, I'm just walking down to get my car that I dropped off this morning uh, past its MOT with flying colours, so happy about that. And then I'm back on the M25. Well, I bring you some news about our friends who like populating the M25. It looks like they're living life in the fast lane. How to everyone, welcome back to the channel for a Friday lunchtime now. Yeah, God, it's lunchtime. Where does that time fly? Fast. A lot like traffic on the M25. Well, our friends in Lake Britain are out again this week, aren't they? I think I'm going to call them insane, you late Britain, because some of their actions of late denote to me that they're highly medicated individuals and they need locking up in a padded cell, all of them. Yes, they've been trying all sorts of tactics to garner attention to themselves, stapling themselves to the motorway. And motorists were getting pissed off the other day, and rightly so, they were throwing ink at them. And there were some lovely pictures of old retired geezers covered in blue ink all over their boat race, and I'm not surprised. What worries me though, is this is going to escalate, because it's quite obvious that no amount of court injunction or bullshit panandering by Pretty Patel or anyone else it's going to make the blindest bit of difference. And when they turn around to us motorists, trying to earn an honest crust and all the rest of it, and say, could you steer clear of the M25? I did a video like that the other day, by the way. They're absolutely fucking nuts. Well, the latest thing this morning is they appear that they're willing to die for their cause. Have a look at this headline. Now, as I approach a busy road in my town, with traffic going at 30 mile an hour in the most, I have to watch out and keep my wits about me. Can you imagine that shenanigans at 70 miles an hour? Crazy, huh? Somebody, sometime, is gonna get very seriously injured, or worse, they're gonna get killed. We already saw that story a week or two ago of that lady that decided to give them a big nudge with her Range Rover. I quite like that, to be honest. I know I upset a few of you that are uh, not impressed with that kind of behaviour, but that being said, it's going to escalate and someone's going to get it big time. Let me give you a scenario. As you well know, I spend my life on the motorways and I'm intimately familiar with what goes on. what you got to think if you're tearing along at 70 miles an hour and some idiot with a placard jumps out in front of you you got two choices go left go right or slam the brakes on and hope for the best what would you do unfortunately at those kinds of speeds you've only got seconds to react and if you've got one insulate Britain protester in front of you and a family of four in a car behind you that could potentially be seriously injured or worse by you taking evasive action or braking Hobson's choice really isn't it but I guess they're willing to take that risk we on the other hand are not the police or whoever it needs to be needs to deal with these idiots and they need to deal with them now heavy-handed tactics water cannons super glue remover anything it's got to stop when they realize that they're going to be put in harm's way by their actions i do reckon they disappear but it won't happen because we're too softy for all that aren't we anyway i'm going to carry on with the walk to the garage to get me motor subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already uh, we're going up quite rapidly i'm working on 17,000 subscribers we've got about Ooh, 440 to go I think so we're getting there give the video a like and uh, hit that notification bell 
I'll see you on the next one when I got my breath bag. Toodaloo!